Under the crest of the Double Eagle, and with the authority and prestige of two crowns, our empire, the Austrian Empire, stands as a powerhouse in Europe. Triumphant after its victory in the Great War, we've retaken the Italian lands of Venice, and we've asserted our dominion over the empire that some call weak and confederated. No, no, no. It stands stronger than ever. Though it definitely is decentralized to some extent, yeah, yeah. The Germans might be laughing at us a little, but you know. They're still our good friends. Wilhelm there. We also have a hat for one of our kingdoms, and no hat for this kingdom, I, I, I don't know. And we had a nice little election in Austria where we chose austerity over public welfare. Yeah, interesting decision. Oh, and it appears that when our great Admiral Miklos Horty was approached with a pirate issue, he presented an alternative, more profitable method of dealing with the pirates. He suggests that we try to negotiate with them to stop targeting us, and in return we'll pay them just enough money to satisfy their greed. I like where Horty is going with this. Yeah, if you say so. And Orti orders construction of naval facilities in Fiume. Yeah, quite interesting. I wonder what he could be doing there. And he successfully has turned the pirates to our side. And Horti is moving to Illyria in Fiume next to the dockyards. Interesting. Good luck, I guess. Yeah. After the Admiral arrived in Illyria, further details arrived. He was to settle in Fiume close to Slovenia and the coast. This was the place he constructed those shipyards, after all. It's an appropriate location. Hopefully the house he has prepared is enough for him. Looking at the dockyards he ordered. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, maybe slightly suspicious. And yeah, um, the pirate thing is not working out so well. The pirates obviously aren't, you know, the most loyal people who are going to do whatever our state asks them to, so Horty might not be getting his way today. We're going to order the fleet to attack them while he's gone. Oh well, sorry, sorry there, Horty. Oh, and our navy lost against the pirates. I don't know, th that seems rather unfortunate. Uh, but you know. I guess this is Austria-Hungary. I don't think they're well known for their powerful navy, so... Oh well. And we're going to arrest Horty, too. Yeah, obviously, he's being weird and staring at dockyards out his window in his new home that he moved to, and you can't trust people like that. And there's fierce opposition to us removing him. Uh, the small detachment of the soldiers sent to Fiume to detain Horty were met by fierce opposition from both opponents at sea and on land. The buildings were manned and ready, almost as if they were ready for our incursion. Okay. <laughs> Um, and to make things worse, our puppet state is intervening against us. Yeah, I guess this is where the decentralization is, um, showing. I guess maybe I spoke too highly of the Austrian Empire. Yeah, this isn't a good sign already. Oh yeah, so now we have become our own state, yes. Fiume, led by Horty, our good, our good friend right here, usually the vanilla leader of Hungary. But Hungary's a lot bigger and ruled by Karl directly, kind of deal with the siege, though. They'll lose some more stability. Yeah, their empire is kind of in shambles. If some random city led by a pirate king can, you know, become free, the modern Blackbeard here, yeah. Oh, and Venice also became independent. Huh, yeah. Guess we have a friend, a city-state friend. They're a lot bigger than we are, though, but not as strong. We have the dockyards. Yeah. And our once close friend, Karl, it no longer rules Hungary. It's ruled by socialists, or social democrats at least, yeah. I feel like there may be some tension between these two. And some of our sailors are blockading Malta. We can order them to stop, but I think that it would be good for us if Malta became independent of Germany, if anything. Right now it's ruled by the Germans, but we're going to continue the blockade. Oh, we just took them over. By, by independent, I thought they meant like independent, not like just ruled over by pirates. Well, I guess this is freedom, true freedom in our pirate republic. So we have to occupy them now, which is not very good considering we don't have any military factories. We have 10 dockyards though, but no mills or sieves. And the inevitable happened. The Austrian Empire is now at war with Hungary, along with all of the Austrian Empire's puppet states. So this gives us here in Fiume a great opportunity 
We're going to take advantage of this situation and seize the great city of Pola because its garrison will soon be leaving. And now with the city under our control, we can do two different things. We could first integrate the lands but forfeit some of the extra defense we get on our capital, or we can not integrate the lands and reinforce the idea of just having this one really strong capital city. And I think that we need to integrate it because defending two tiles is a lot easier than defending one just because you can cycle divisions in and out to one where a battle is taking place and there's so many tiles that surround this one city and of course since we're pirates after all we have to go for the trade interdiction doctrine we'll make some amazing submarines even though we have quite a decent surface fleet too this is not a terrible fleet by any means especially for a country with only two provinces like yeah I think we probably have the strongest fleet out of any minor yeah, yeah also Hungary was dismantled into a whole bunch of smaller Austrian puppet states, so yeah, I guess the Empire wins today. Well, not for long, possibly. <laughs> and we've been increasing pirate influence along the coast of Dalmatian and the Greek islands, so we'll start taking over some stuff, like we'll take over Crete, and we'll take over another province neighboring us to here. Yeah, look at that, another sieve, more dockyards, a lot more dockyards, and our first mill. I don't know why, but we also have a lot of guns. Like, we can train a lot of divisions here. And these are actually real divisions, too. Well, of course, they only have guns in them, but I don't know. Oh, and Nikita Khrushchev leads Ukraine, and they trade Germany and join the International. I think the International, even though we aren't communists here, we're pirates, of course, they may be our inevitable friends in this world. If Austria and Germany go to war with them, we could profit a lot on siding with them. And the Don Republic invaded the Ukraine, and Stalin leads Georgia. That's not that's very, very fun. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Uh, some shady men approached us claiming to be professional bribers. Oh, that's very fancy. We need some professional bribers to effectively run a pirate state like this. Ah, oh, and our great friend, uh, Horty or Hordy or whatever, orders mandatory Jolly Rogers on ships. The Jolly Roger is now an official flag of Fiume. <laughs> We're also finally seeking a treaty with the International, officially. Anyways, a war with Austria is imminent, so in order to to prepare ourselves, we're going to send some volunteers around, maybe to Francisco, our good friend. Hordy asks about Oak Island, oh no. I've watched way too much of that show. This isn't good, I don't, I don't wanna go there. There's gonna be nothing there ever. It's, we're just gonna waste all of our time and resources. Uh, but we might find the Lost Ark, ah, that's true. I know someone who would be happy about that. <laughs> Is he even in this mod? He's probably somewhere as a meme, I, I would guess. And we need steel to build our army, so we're gonna steal steel, yes. We really need to build a lot of support equipment for our war against Austria, because it's gonna be very defensive. We're also in the Third International, yeah. I think a good move on our part. That They're obviously gonna win here, and we gotta take some of the spoils. Okay, we found Captain Kidd's treasure on Oak Island. Wow. I guess we did what hundreds of people couldn't do in the modern era. And it has finally started, yes, the Great Showdown. We're not gonna join it just because, if anything, what I want to do is I want to be in the Entente and defeat Austria-Hungary, and then leave the Entente join Germany and defeat everyone else. That's that's the ideal. That's the only way we can conquer all of Italy and the Mediterranean and stuff is if we do that. But we'll see, that might be a little ambitious here. And so we are finally invading Illyria. We, we kind of made a gentleman's agreement here that if we don't call in our allies, they don't call in their ally. Because yeah, Austria united into the United States of Greater Austria. So maybe they'll just let us annex their puppet. We'll, we'll see. And we have finally done it. We've become the United Pirates, not just Fiume or not just any random island in the ocean. We're the united band of all pirates in the world. And it's time to declare on Austria. We're going to start off with sabotaging their army. <laughs>
They almost took our capital, but the small buff that I usually forget about, Chore Bombardment, seems to have maybe saved us here. A minus 18% to soft attack is pretty decent. I also equipped all these guys here with AT, so hopefully that helps. But yeah, we, we got that one encirclement initially, and now we're starting to get pushed back slightly. But hey, we're, we're winning, I think. Well, we almost made it to Hungary, but um, we kind of are missing out on something called manpower, which is pretty important. If we had more manpower, we could probably win, but yeah, without manpower, I think we probably need to retreat a little bit, if we even can without losing. A lot of these guys will actually just delete. And then we'll start an organized retreat with these other guys, yeah. We also called France in for help. Anyways, we fell back to here and then pushed back through to here again, and then we made a breakthrough here. And I did get up to this tile here, like so close to the Polish border, which would have encircled all this. And then, um, the game started crashing a little. I, I don't know what's going on, but I guess this is kind of a natural ending point anyway. The game is going so slow. Well, it's not going too slow. But I think this war is winnable. I could maybe continue it in a part two if I can figure out what's crashing, but it's been fun so far. I, I enjoy Kaiser Redux, it's quite the experience. Yes, maybe we need another video just to deal with our one true enemy. No, not, not, not really. <laughs> Kaiser Redux doesn't go that quite that far. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want more stuff like this, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.